Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 9th, 2022. Yesterday, doggone it, we had quite a little volatility. I was suggesting that we might get a little bit of a relief rally yesterday, and then we got news from the president that the U.S. was embargoing um, Russian oil, and that spiked oil prices, sending the markets lower again. A lot of volatility in this market and this morning we are trying to show a huge gap up this morning as if these gas prices won't affect us at all but what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the wednesday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I am running a little bit behind this morning, so I'm probably going to talk fast, see if I can shorten this video up just a little bit. Taking a look at these charts, obviously, we continue to maintain this downtrend, but we are a little bit oversold on the short term, and I mentioned that yesterday, and we left behind an inverted hammer pattern, which sometimes suggests a little bit of a bounce could be on the way. So we have this big gap up. Unfortunately, this big gap up is probably going to inspire a lot of traders to that emotional response of a fear of missing out but I want to remind you just how big a whipsaw we had yesterday and that the possibility of a whipsaw again today does exist when we gap like this it just inspires people to rush in and jump in oh my gosh this is finally it we're finally going to be out of the way but I want you to consider carefully has anything changed we still have a war going on in the Ukraine. We still have extremely high inflation. We still have $4.17 gas that's going to put incredible pressure on that pending um, um, CPI number coming in tomorrow with um, impacts happening to that consumer everywhere and you've probably seen the reports of the possibility of recession uh, coming into play so all of these uncertainties are still in out there so be careful just rushing in and running into the risk of that potential whipsaw keep in mind we have substantial resistance levels above now if we'd have had just a normal opening today i would say man i want to get um, some bullish trades here to the upside but with a gap like this it adds an awful lot of danger um, for that potential of a pullback so be careful just rushing right in keeping in mind that we have huge resistance levels above in the chart and downtrend still in place our technicals in these charts continue to be very very ugly 50 crossing down to the 200 here in the Dow. Although we are in a oversold, short-term oversold condition, we want to respect those resistance levels as long as we maintain this downtrend. Keep a close eye on the SPY. SPY also making a substantial bounce up this morning. Keep, um, keep focused in on the fact that as we bounce back up, we have massive levels of resistance level above and we continue in this downtrend. And once again, the technicals of these charts are not improving and this is just a, um, a gap up. Now it could trigger a bit of a short squeeze, but we also have to consider the fact that it will likely be very volatile with lots of whipping around and big point swings are possible. So plan your risk carefully and be careful not to be rushing into a trap, which this could easily be. It could be that bull trap um, rallying toward resistance. We rush in and then they reverse it and go back down again. Gas prices are still high war is still in play uncertainty still rests in the market and kind of right now reigns supreme let's take a look at the qqq qqq had a really rough day yesterday we broke some support in here notice we broke that little level right in there um, moving on down but the good news is we didn't break these lows i do think there is a chance that we could still uh, completely test those lows and keep in mind our downturn is still in prep place but if we can catch some rally we 
might press that resistance here this morning and we might even push up if we can get enough bullishness push up into some resistance levels here in the chart but let's keep in mind um, the gap up this morning creates an awful lot of danger and the technicals in our chart here on the nasdaq are awful um, just not looking good at all i still think there is a high probability we will test this 500 day moving average before we're done um, let's take a look at our iwm iwm also had a little bit of volatility in it yesterday but i gotta tell you it held up better than other indexes notices noticing that we've held some support levels in this chart but we have also created huge levels of price resistance in the chart above our downtrend is still in play and even if we can get through that area here in the chart we have a year's worth of price resistance above that so watch carefully and be really really cautious about over trading a market um, that's this volatile let's take a look at our VIX Speaking of volatility and speaking of fear, we had our volatility closing at 35 handles yesterday, which means anyone trading options are going to be trading extremely high priced options, likely having to pay large slippage costs between the bid and ask. So be very, very careful if you're an options trader. And just keep in mind that we're maintaining this upside trend. Now this big gap up this morning is likely going to pull this back substantially. That is a good thing, but we'll want to pay attention to the fact that if we hold above that 30 handle really nothing has changed if we hold this uptrend nothing has changed if we can break down here to somewhere around that 25 handle that would help out quite a little bit provide some resistance levels above for that chart to be thinking about but once again we can't rule out the possibility of big point whipsaws today um, as we continue to gyrate around and try to figure out what these rising energy prices and the, and the total impact of this might be as we move forward let's also take a look at our t2122 now t2122 we were pushing down toward that that area down in here that bullish reversal zone notice we didn't quite make it down in there um, the, which means if we find some reason for bearishness here this morning we do have some data coming out today that could provide that but if we find some reason for bearishness we still have quite a big opening to the downside which means the whipsaw on the day could be pretty substantial if those bears engage however if those bulls find a reason to continue pressing to the upside we also have opened up a pretty good opportunity for a short squeeze and that's where they pressure all of those short traders force them out of trades um, in the rally back and we squeeze that market to the upside that can make it for really big price moves but also keep in mind gap up of 500 points if we rally a lot we're going to be right back up here in a bearish reversal zone in this all or nothing market it is extremely dangerous to chase these big point moves so consider that carefully now our t2108 held up pretty well yesterday um, although we're still in this uh, substantial downtrend in here we held in here about 31 percent of our stocks holding above their 40-day moving average and that's giving us a little bit of hope here in the market because we haven't made new lows even as the market was pressing down toward those new lows in t2108 so fingers crossed that would be bullish for the market and if we take a look at t2107 somewhat similar um, they had a lot more pressure here in t2107 with the number of stocks holding above the 200 day moving average slipping down there to 27 and a half percent but if you'll take a look we're still um, massive downtrend lots of price resistance above now we'll probably get some relief in that today but certainly we can't call this an all clear or time to rush in and buy type situation let's take a look at our t2101 now t2101 has been suggested Suggesting as we press down, press down, press down here in T2101 of a big potential move. And I've been talking about that the last few days, the possibility that we could get a large upside move or a large downside move. This morning, it looks like the path is set for the potential of that large upside move here in the market, relieving some of that selling pressure. But remember, 
stay very focused on those resistance levels above because I don't think the bears are going to give up um, all that easily with all the uncertainty still out there in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar has a couple things that could move us around today. We've got that job openings report and then we've got the petroleum status number and we have a 10-year note auction. 10-year bond yields are moving up again this morning um, with that uncertainty certainty out there. So keep a close eye on those data points. They can provide a little bit of volatility for us. And remember, as you plan forward, this is going to be the, the, big, the big guns of the week, and that's going to be that CPI number. And it's hard to imagine that our um, with our food and energy prices going up the way they are, that we're going to see a reduction in our CPI number, albeit that it is lagging. Um, and so maybe there was an improvement last month. We'll have to wait and see, but that could be problematic here for the market tomorrow. So watch that close. Then um, let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Um, we have quite a few stocks listed on the earnings calendar, about 150 companies, but a lot of those companies um, are unconfirmed reports. And unfortunately, guys, we're really running out of a lot of those big notables um, for the day. So if you click the link below the title of the video, that'll take you back to the morning blog. You'll be able to get that full list. I'm only going to cover a couple here this morning. We're going to hear from uh, Campbell Soup, maybe one of the more notables here today. Um, had a hard sell-off yesterday, not looking very good in that chart right now. So watch that one closely. We're going to hear from... Uh, PLCE, Children's Place, watch that. Been moving in a substantial downtrend in this chart, as you can see. We need a pretty good price reaction to move us up and maybe pop us through some of these resistance levels here in the chart. So uh, it, it may be a little bit questionable. And unfortunately, guys, we have a lot of these kind of uh, charts today. Um, MQ, um, little, little small cap type stocks. Um, so unfortunately, they're probably not going to move us a whole lot here in the market. Um, FOSL um, would be one to pay attention to here today. Um, trying to move in this little upside uptrend, keeping close attention to the fact that we have substantial price resistance over here as well in that chart. So once again, if you want to catch that full list, make sure you click that link below the title of the video. That'll take you back there. So how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me that quick favor, you know what to do. Click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time. Time I post a video and hopefully guys you see that these videos are a lot different you know this has been one of the best one of the best beginnings of a year that I have had in my trading because we're getting such big price moves and I've been predominantly short following the trend of the market so if you find these things to be helpful um, please do me a favor click those thumbs up buttons leave a brief comment and I also want to thank everyone who continues to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link that's just below the title of the video I am going to try to to get a at least a test done this week of a live um, event on YouTube so keep an eye out for that um, I'm gonna try to get that done before I head out on vacation and that's something I wanted to also mention guys on Friday I'm around for the morning prep and I'll be around for about half of the day of trading and then I will be gone for a week and I won't be doing videos all next week so I apologize for the for the gap this will be one of the longest vacations I think I have taken in about 25 years um, my wife is very excited about it and I'm really going to try and stay away um, from um, checking the market every few minutes. <laughs> that may be tough, but hopefully you understand. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up for today. And please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, make sure you do your own due diligence. Make sure you watch these charts very closely and that you pay close attention to the risk of the high volatility that we see in the market. Let's take a look at a couple things. Boy, I got to tell you, um, anything in energy, if we take a look at the energy,
energy sector. Energy, very, very strong, but we're finally getting a little bit of pullback in that energy sector. You want to watch this resting pullback because I don't think this situation with Russia is going away anytime soon. And if we rest and pull back in here, that could set up some nice upside opportunities in energy stocks. Notice this beautiful upside trend. So a little bit of rest out here toward the trend and we could still see upside. So watch those closely for those next opportunity uh, opportunities that could set up in those stocks. One place I think that would also be kind of important for you to pay attention to and that would be anything in that commodity set sector on um, DBC if we look at DBC um, if I can get the right symbol DBC has been in a rocket ship ride to the upside and finally catching a little bit of pullback on that this morning as well um, once again guys anything in that food commodity related area um, energies um, grains all of those things have been unbelievably strong and unfortunately it doesn't look like that's going to change anytime soon with um, the um, situation we have over there in the Ukraine continuing to get worse and Putin continuing to act more erratically every single day. Um, we're going to have to watch that pretty closely. But a rest or pullback in here could set up a more upside opportunity. Other places that you could look because of these rising prices, seeing really good moves, and I mentioned this yesterday, in some of those solar stocks. Take a look at TAN moving up here. Nice little break of the downtrend rallying through resistance, setting that higher low in here and moving on higher. Um, keep an eye on that. If you look at TAN, TAN is an ETF on solars. If you jump over here, take a look. These are um, er everything in that TAN um, ETF looking very, very good and possible opportunities setting up in those charts. So watch those closely. I also think it would be a good idea to keep a close eye on anything in that metals area. Take a look at U.S. Steel. U.S. Steel breaking through. I get complaints sometimes because I don't show enough lower price stocks. Well, there you go, guys. Here's a lower price stock. This is shot up pretty heavily and it's pulling back and resting. And that's what I want to see. Get that thing to rest a little bit hold in there for that next opportunity to the upside keep an eye on um, X um, STLD is doing the same thing trying to hold some support in here substantial support as a matter of fact so if this resting pullback in here can hold in this area hold on to this trend we have that next upside opportunity that could come in that chart. Now, I will tell you that some of these stocks are overextended in the short term and they need that resting pullback. And I would say like GLD, GLD is overextended in the short term. Um, kind of hard to rush into a trade like that, but a little rest or pullback sets up a pretty good opportunity. So keep an eye on gold and silver. They may set up and you should also be keeping an eye on anything in that mining area. Three of the most um, the, the most bullish spider select sectors are mining and metal sector, the oil and gas sector, energy sector, um, in there and oil and gas exploration, you know, things like Valero um, starting to move up here yesterday, perking through. Now it's pulling back a little bit today, reacting to that resistance, but refining will likely start picking up and looking pretty good. Um, rig has all of a sudden just rocket ship ride here on um, oil exploration type stocks. So watch that closely as we test this resistance up here. Any rest or pullback that holds a higher low could set up an opportunity to the upside. Now, unfortunately, guys, we have an awful lot of charts that are very, very bearish. What I would suggest to you is if you watch the NASDAQ here, a lot of those charts are struggling here as we rally back to resistance levels in charts. You know, take a look at charts like AMD, been heavily sold off. And as this rallies back up, we'll want to watch carefully those resistance levels in the chart because we're following this trend. If we can rally back into that trend, rally back into that resistance, that may set up that next opportunity for short. Now, I'm not trying to suggest that it will be short. 
I'm trying to suggest that is the setup. So watch those potentials. They could come around here for a lot of short positions setting up as we rally back. So keep an eye on it. Tech is one of those areas running into trouble. Also financials. Um, our financials are in a horrible position right now and although they're rallying back today I want you to make note of this massive level of price resistance here in the chart. If we rally back into that resistance level here in the chart we could easily see continued failure to the downside because we've seen a lot of fluctuation in currencies. This um, situation over there um, in Ukraine is putting lots of pressure on these financials and of course every time inflation rises it adds more pressure um, to these because consumers have to pull back on their spending. Watch those closely there could be a lot of short setups um, as we rally back into the market. So there's a few ideas for you today. Hey guys I want to wish you all the very very best. Be very very careful in your trading. Try to avoid the emotion that fear of missing out rushing in try to avoid over trading with this wild volatility remember if you've been suffering in this market then you have to back off a little bit protect that capital when we get big volatile moves like this it encourages people to rush in and jump and obviously that's created an awful lot of pain in a lot of folks accounts because there's been a lot of the pop and drops there's been a lot of the rally back to the resistance and then just full reversals coming into play whipsaws intraday are also punishing people dramatically so be very very careful on how you trade and don't over trade with that everyone i wish you all the best and i wish you great success in your trading and we'll see you right back here bright and early thursday morning have a great one everyone